Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ember Velvet, and this is a one month update after my coaching call with On Natural Mama. So back on April 10th, I had a coaching call with On Natural Mama, who is on YouTube, and she is amazing. Um, I had been on OnlyFans and a couple other platforms for just under two months at that point. Um, and I just wasn't really picking up the level of traction that I wanted. Um, and I felt like I could have been doing better and I just wasn't sure what I was missing. Like what was the magic key to the puzzle that I just wasn't figuring out on my own. So I wanted to talk to her and just kind of get her insight. I gave her a very, very detailed description of everything I had done up to that point, how I was using, um, you know, different pricing structures, the pricing structure I was currently using. I had talked about um, some of the places I was posting where I was at as far as fans and karma and everything. Um, reddit side of things as well because that's where i do the majority of my promoting um and where most of my subs come from so i had given her all of the details about that um and i had you know basically said I'd, i would love for you to look over my profiles um and give me some ideas as to what is missing because i think my content is really good um i just feel like there's something that is not getting through to people what do i need to do and so I met with her on April 10th. Like I said, we had a one hour coaching session um, and she was awesome. She had gone through all of my bios. She gave me a couple little things to fix. She was actually so detailed that she had picked up on, um, you know, from those different pricing structures. I had like literal one lines of text in a couple different places that gave conflicting information. So we fixed that so that everything was in order. Um, I had updated my bio on my own a little bit after because as I was reading it I realized like while I wanted to push that I do some certain fetish content and different kind of things that other people might not do I didn't realize that I left off that I do the things that most people do <laughs> um like just regular you know nudes and lingerie pics and lewds and different things like that like I you know, as much as I love doing the fun fetish content, I do less of the fun fetish content than the regular content. And I was really putting out there just a fetishy persona because I wanted for people that were looking for that to be able to find me. Um, but at the same time, I think I might've been scaring away some people who were definitely not looking for that sort of stuff. So I fixed that. Um, <clears throat> so then we talked about Reddit and Reddit I was on there almost every single day. I just was not doing enough. And I guess that that is where I was going wrong. Um, because as soon as I started doing more, I started doing a lot better. And so at this point, you know, I try to post at least 20 times a day. My goal is 40. Um, these past couple of days, even I haven't been able to do that because I just like, I've had family stuff going on and I needed a little bit of a break. So I've only posted, you know, once a day just to maintain my account. Um, and it's done well enough for me that I still have gotten a few subscribers. And that was not the case for me before. I was posting, you know, at least once every single day and not getting anybody some days. So I was really actually surprised about that um, and really happy with that. But in general, I do show up and consistently post at least 20 times. Um, and I have been other than the past three days for, for the month. So let's talk about where I was at and where I'm at now. So when I had reached out to On Natural Mama, I had just under 500 followers on Reddit and I had just under 2,500 karma on Reddit and I had 12 paid fans and I was top 56% on OnlyFans and I had made th uh, $37.12 um, net gross that was $46.40 and yeah I was really actually proud of that and I was pretty shocked that I was um, you know doing better than about 44% of creators on the platform at that point. I was really shocked by that because everyone has said that the average creator on there makes about $180 a month. And I don't think that that is true. Um, like I said, I was top 56% and I had made $37. So um, I don't know where that number comes from, but I don't think that's a realistic expectation. I will say that you have to put in a lot more, but I did make more than $180 this last month. So let's talk about it. So I'll talk about my social profiles now because I'm really proud. So my Twitter and my Instagram both have over 500 followers now, which is amazing. Like I said, this is the biggest following I've ever had in my life. Um, and I'm so proud of it. It's amazing. I love it. So that's been really exciting. But my Reddit has grown exponentially. My Reddit, I have over 3,400 followers now. I have 9,400 karma and some change. Um, 
and I have 51 paid fans now on OnlyFans, which is amazing. And I have some people that actually tip. I have people that request customs. I have people that comment on my stuff and interact with me. It's amazing. I love the people that are there right now. I hope that I can keep, there's a handful of them I would love to keep for a really, really long time. I would love it if everybody stayed, but there's some I haven't got to know yet. And I'm making a very, a, a stronger effort to get to know all of my fans. Cause I think that I realized that that's another place that I was lacking. So anyway, um, my earnings, let's talk about it. I'm top 17% now. Go me top 17. Um, I'm very excited about that. And my earnings actually this month are up 1,097.4% versus last month. It has been exactly one month today from my coaching call. So I really wanted to report back on what it looked like in the month after I got that advice and since I had updated my promoting strategy. Okay, so let's talk earnings. Uh, in the past 30 days, my gross earnings was $483.75. Amazing. Um, and my net from that was $387 even. So, like I said, I couldn't be more thrilled with that. And compared to the previous month, um, the previous two months, realistically, uh, where I had made $37.12, I'm thrilled. Um, it has only continued to grow. Um, and out of that money, I mean, I made a substantial amount of that in the past probably week and a half. So I just see my account growing. I'll insert some screenshots. I'll put one from before my call and I'll put one from after my call and I'll put an all time chart. So you have an idea of what it looks like. Um, I couldn't be more proud of how things have gone. I couldn't be more excited about the success that I've had. I couldn't be more thankful to Our Natural Mama for taking the time out of her day to actually coach me and go over everything. She was so thorough and I just can't stress that enough. Um, if you're a creator and you're looking to do this and you wanna reinvest in your business, I, I can't say enough positive things about my experience working with her. Um, she was awesome. She gave me a ton of advice. She went deeper than I had thought that she would. I really, really appreciated that. Um, and I know she's new to this, so she's putting her whole heart into it. Now is the time to get it if you have if you have any interest in it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it works. So what I will say is I, I made back um, everything I spent on the call within the first week of having done the call. Um, and the call really cost about as much as I made my first two months. It was about $38 and some change. Um, it's $50 Canadian, but I'm not in Canada. I'm in the U.S., so it was a little bit less for me. But, yeah, I mean, I made way more than that this month, and I didn't for two months before that. So I think that it was definitely worthwhile. I learned a lot. Um, and now that I've got more people in my page, I can actually test more things and see more things that people like and I'm getting a better idea of how to actually make money with it. I think that that's part of this. Like people say that you can make money off of a couple subscribers and sure I think you can, but you have to have the right subscribers. And if you don't have the right subscribers and nobody's biting on anything that you're putting out, you're not necessarily going to learn anything because you're not really giving it a good test. You need enough people in there to actually respond to it. And like I said, I've got 51 paid subscribers now and I have probably six of them that are really regularly reaching out at this point. And I love that. I, I really appreciate it. It's like really fun for me. It's what I wanted out of doing this. Like I hoped to get those relationships. So I'm glad that I have people that are actually talking to me now where I hadn't. Like I was talking a lot with my followers on social platforms because my OnlyFans people just never actually wanted to talk to me. And granted, I don't know that I knew how to reach out to them in the right ways either. Um, but I am learning about that. And it's been much more successful now that I've been playing with actually, you know, talking to them in different ways and kind of offering them different things. Um, yeah, it's worked out really well. I have a new strategy that I've been doing for my welcome message that has actually also been working very well for me. Um, and I don't know that anyone's talked about doing exactly what I'm doing. It's kind of a combination of approaches that I've heard from different people. But I will say, uh, Alana Cole's most recent video on interacting with your fans, game changer game changer, life changing. I needed that too. Um, yeah. So 
I would strongly recommend you check out Alana Cole's video on communicating with your fans if you're looking to earn more money. I think that that's a huge part of it. And then if you're looking to improve your strategy on promoting yourself, if you don't know how to use Reddit and you want someone to sit there and like kind of walk you through and say, hey, these are some great groups for you specifically on Natural Mamas, your girl, reach out to her. She's amazing. I know she offers coaching as far as all of the different aspects, but that's what I needed from her at the time. And she was more than helpful. Um, I actually have been thinking about scheduling another call with her, so we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, I just wanted to let you guys know how that month went since my call. It's been super great. It's been so successful, and I can only hope for more days and weeks and months like this in the future. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad. I appreciate it.